All right, hey Leo. So this is your guys' read. I'm doing a, a, an energy check-in for those dealing with a person that is uh, being a little weird, being distant, pulling away. All right, so um, check your other placements if this does not resonate. And if you guys are new, welcome. I hope you sub subscribe. So I'm just going to pull cards to get the current energy of the connection and the current situation to see who we're talking to. So the current energy is mutual energy, how you guys are feeling towards each other for Leo. The current energy. You could be dealing with a water sign. All right. Current energy of the connection. Okay, so here's what I feel. I feel like um, possibly a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could have made you an offer uh, recently, Leo. And you could have actually turned it down. It could be reverse roles, okay? You could have made a recent offer um, to a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Um, so I feel like... I do feel like you guys in this connection have actually known each other for some time. Um, but the feeling I'm getting is almost that you guys are were never a couple. You guys have not been a couple. You've never been a couple. Not yet. Okay. And it could be because um, both of you or one of you have, have some healing to do from a past situation. Somebody could have actually gotten out of a, um, a long-term commitment. And but even though you guys know each other, um, it's uh, I do feel like it, the question is there. I do feel like somebody's asked somebody but somebody's not done healing okay so that's kind of what i feel um is going on between you and this person so i'm just going to pull cards to see what the current situation is for leo what's the current situation of this connection okay so that's too many cards all right Okay, so here's, we have just as a flash, the world card coming in reverse. So I do feel like um, you guys could possibly be on the break. Um, we had the uh, hanged man that came out earlier and that was one of the cards I seen. So I'm like, okay, you guys must not be talking right now. All right, but I feel like somebody is, is working on closing out this cycle. Okay, but um, wh whoever it is, I feel like it's giving the other person anxiety over what's going on with this connection. Um, I feel like you guys have not talked in a little while. Okay, and with the moon card popping out here, I feel like you both could feel like there's something secretive going on all right um but i do see that you both want to actually talk all right and when you guys talk you want it to be um in a, you know in a positive light so um let's just see how this person is feeling about you um i am gonna see why exactly it is this person's pulling away but i mean to break it back down somebody's offered somebody something but um there's a healing that's taking place so somebody i feel to went through something pretty traumatic or it was just like a long drawn out thing where it's like they there is a, actually a need for a break in this before this person whoever it is is dealing with the chaos um it's ready i feel okay um, with the moon card, it just, y'all could be thinking that somebody's keeping some, some secrets, thinking the worst because there has been no communication. So let's just see how this person feels about you, Leo. So this person could actually be younger than you. Um, how do they feel about you? So I feel like with the page of cups, um, and I don't always read reversals, you guys, but I feel like with it coming in reverse, this person actually wants to come forward. They want to show you that they still have this cup of love for you, but because it's in reverse, I feel like this person's actually afraid to. All right. Um, I almost feel like the disconnection is, is, is on their end. Um, I feel like they're the ones that are pulling away because, um, they, they, they are going through that, that messy, whatever it is. Um, it could be that you're going through it and they're pulling away because of that, but this person's just the, this is conflicted. This is, um, being conflicted also too. I feel like you guys could have actually gotten in an argument, um, over the past scenario that I don't feel like has anything to do with, um, to each other. Right. But this person can actually still see a future with you. Okay. They can still see, um, making a new beginning with you and it being a lasting thing all right um i, I don't want to get this the story um tangled too much but um i almost get this energy leo that you could be overreacting um it, but again it could be um vice versa right 
uh, but or this person thinks that you're overreacting to what's going on how come they don't want to move forward or how come this hasn't moved forward um, and they're like well because of this and this and this um, let's just see um, why why this person's pulled away why are they pulling away okay so look at you have the queen of cups and now we have the king of cups so why is this person pulling away um okay so here's what i'm gonna say um this person um this is like codependent behavior right here so i feel like this person could actually be um still connected to their significant other or the one that they were going through a divorce with um, i still feel like they have the tendency to get drawn back into their energy all right, we have the King of Cups, and I feel like with the devil coming out with the King of Cups, um, I, I feel like this person gets drawn back into this person's energy. And then we have the Ace of Wands, but I feel like it's always a fictitious um, start. So I feel like this person has this sort of power over the person that you're dealing with, and, it, and they draw them back in. And with the Ace of Wands, I feel like it's like a... I mean, I'm not going to say they're having sex, but I almost want to say they're probably doing stuff they shouldn't be, especially if they're in a connection with you. Um, so I'm going to pull advice to see what you should be doing. Um, but I'm just going to tell you as your friend, I mean, don't invest all your energy into somebody who's not investing it back into you, especially if they're being wishy-washy. Um, what's going on with this person is you're dealing with somebody who's either gone through a divorce or married or... Um, they are in the processes of uh, separation, but what happens is, is this person keeps getting drawn in by their husband, their wife, their ex, whatever it is. They keep getting drawn back, but it's like that that person is just messing with their head. Um, and I feel like almost you've tried to explain this to this person, but um, they can't see it. So let's just see what you should be doing. What can you do to help this situation, if anything? Um... <clears throat> Look, your, your team is saying if you want happiness, the y'all, whoever I'm talking to, you could be seeing 888, okay? Um, but I got to tell you, we have the Eight of Pentacles. You, you, look, at, you just need to leave this situation for right now and, and focus on yourself, okay? You're not going to see any happiness with this connection or within yourself if you, if you keep on staying focused on this uh, situation. You got to pull yourself back and just work on yourself, focus on yourself. All right, and, and work us, work us, focus, work, focus on your own happiness for right now. Because this person, um, I'm just going to tell you, Leo, do you, do you want somebody that's not ready for, um, I mean, they can't even make a decision between two people. They can't even decide that this uh, life that they're living is not serving them. So do you even want to bring that into your um, atmosphere, right? So let's just see, based off of you pulling back, you focusing on yourself and towards your own happiness, let's just see what they intend to do based off of your action. What does this person end up doing? What's their intention? All right. So they're going to have a self-reflection period. So you guys are going to be, um, yes, there is going to be a little uh, pause, a little break, okay, with the hangman. Um, but what's going to happen is it's going to stir something in this person that, uh, to realize um, something that they haven't realized, okay? And then, you know, you guys will have this opportunity to uh, move forward and talk about um, everything that's that's happened or that's going on. All right, so this is your team saying um, this this is what's going to happen, but you you got to put that focus back into yourself. All right, because this person, um, they're embodying some, uh, they're, they're dealing with somebody who's very 3D, very in this world. Okay, I want what I want. Um, but you guys are going to be discussing all this. I feel like with the Knight of Cups coming out, um, this the love will get drawn back in and infused together. But, um, I mean, you got to show this person, too, that you respect yourself too much to put up with whatever their uh, childish um, BS is. And, and you don't deserve to be a part of that anyway, Leo. So let's just see what happens in the next 30 days for Leo and this person. You guys are going to talk about some things. Um, but look at it. it's not it's not gonna fully close it's not it, this situation is not fully gonna close all right until you pull your energy in okay 
Um, this is just, I feel like it's fast talking and with the um, two of pentacles, you know, over the next 30 days, you're still going to have this energy of this person not knowing what they want. So your team is saying, um, you know, maybe just put it to rest. This is not going to be one of those connections that just fizzles out if you put it to rest. This is you telling this person, I can't be treated like this no more. So let me know when you're done. All right. Let me know when you're done. But going back and forth, excuse my language. So let's just see what your advice is from your, your spirit team. All right, look at, okay. I feel like um, what your team is saying is this this person is gonna come back, all right? Um, but just be reminded that their their energy is immature. So uh, make sure that you don't fall into that, um, especially if you really want this to move forward eventually in the future, okay? Um, but this person's gotta work out their karmic. This person's gotta work it out and they don't need to bring that energy into you. So. Um, I feel like your team is saying right here, it's okay to kind of have this blockage up when, this, when and if this person comes back because they're in a karmic situation right now that they need to fix. So let them fix it. And you're going to know if this person comes back in the proper energy. All right. But I feel like in the next 30 days, your team is saying they're going to be a page. All right. It could just be that they're coming back for the, the, um, the D or the V or whatever. Okay. So it could just be that this person comes to you when they need that, but your team is saying, no, this is, they need to tie up their karmic because over the, over the next 30 days, there's this person is still going back and forth. All right, Leo, I hope you guys let me know who this is for. Um, I really like doing readings for you guys and I have been gone and, um, oh man, I hope that I can just put them out all week long. So love you guys. Let me know who this is for.